Hi everyone, this is Sarah B. Hansen, and today we are going to be painting um, uh, a guy walking out on maybe the Oregon coast. Uh, maybe he's going to go fish or something, or maybe he's got his pants for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have fun doing that. We're going to do a gradated sky, a little figure, some reflections. And so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and let's get started. Okay, so to start painting our little guy out here on the beach, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this beautiful background and, and foreground here first of a wet wash, graded wet wash, dry it, and then um, add our little guy in here, okay? So how we're gonna do that is we will start with, if you want to, you can create a little outline, a little border here. This gives you a guideline uh, as far as where you want your paint to go. Um, or you can tape it down and tape a little border around it. That works too. Um, this should be clean water. It's not super clean water because I've been painting today. But in any case, um, you wanna have some clean water. This is a one and a half inch um, sable brush, flat wash brush. And I'm using that today so I can cover a big area uh, quickly. So I'm gonna get a lot of hard edges. So first to prepare, um, I've got some paint squeezed out here, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, what we're going to do is wet uh, this paper down almost the whole rectangle. Okay, and so what I mean by that is we're taking this all the way down to about this much of the paper. So maybe the bottom, I don't know, eighth or something like that. Wet that up really nicely here. We're gonna let that sit for a second. Um, and what I've squeezed out here is, we can see them over there. Uh, I've got quinacridone burnt orange, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Aussie red gold, which is right here, and new gamboge, and then a little bit of Antwerp here. So those are fun colors to use, but you can use pretty much any colors. All right, now, getting my brush wet. Let's take a look here. I wanna make sure we don't have any ponds uh, I missed a spot. Can't have that. Uh, we want to make sure we don't have any ponds or rivers. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and sip that, sip the edges up here, drain off all of those ponds or rivers, the floating water, get those drained off. Okay, and again, you only come down to about the, an eighth, you leave about an eighth dry. Okay. Now, to do a nice, pretty, uh, gradiated wash, what we want to do is we're gonna start at the top with our yellow. I'm gonna grab some Aussie red gold, and this Aussie red gold sometimes has some little granule things in it, so I'm gonna try to stir it up here, get a lot of water into it, stir it up. Got a little hair on my brush there. These brushes shed sometimes. Okay, and again, my paper is wet. So I'm tilting it a little bit, so I've got gravity working for me. And I'm add the Aussie red gold to the top and bring it down. And rinse off my brush, get the color out of there and grab some new gamboge. Stir that around a little bit and add it to the very bottom. This brightens the color up just a little bit. And now I'm going to sort of pick a little bit of that up. Flipping your painting around. Now you still got, so I came down to about halfway of my paper with the yellow. While everything's still wet, I'm going to come to the top of that wet area with some of the um, Antwerp. So Antwerp will start right here and flow its way down to the yellow. We're gonna bring it in here. We're just gonna allow it to kind of kiss that yellow. Now I'm rinsing my brush off. I'm gonna go one stroke across to let that blend a little better. And um, I'm sipping up the corner here. So the reason why I've got a little bit more of a hard edge on this than this one is because I was talking and a little bit more of it dried. So the way to prevent even a line like that is to move a little quicker, a little more quickly. Okay, so flip this around, and then with my um, 12, number 12 round sable, come into the bottom here with my Antwerp, 
get some water on it. And at the very, very bottom of this, where it's still wet, I'm gonna draw a darker line of Antwerp. And then come down a little bit more, draw another line, and this is going to be the reflection, okay? And it can be, you know, some version of this. It doesn't have to be exactly this. Right in the center where the guy's gonna be standing, I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker color and then a teeny bit of the quinacridone. So I'm adding all of this right now so to get a nice, smooth wash, or, or not wash, but blend of colors in here. Okay, now take a break and dry it. All right, my paper is totally dry now. This is really important. You want that paper to be bone dry, not to have any moisture in it. Or once you start adding this glaze, it's going to have some weird actions going on here. You'll lose some of your beautiful um, gradiated watercolor wash. Isn't that pretty? You can see that line. It's, it's a little bit more of a line than I want it to be, but it's still very nice. It's still very nice. Okay. So now I'm gonna add my person down here, and uh, this is just a suggestion of a person. And I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger than my example, so I'm gonna start his head about right here. The heads are very small, don't get carried away, and maybe practice first on uh, a piece of scrap paper if you want to, I would recommend that. Do a few of them to see if you can get them down, because it's hard to correct the little um, figures once they're on the background. So I'm grabbing quinacridone burnt orange, and at about a height, about right here, I'm gonna grab his, his head. And it's basically just a dot, right? And then what we have is we have some shoulders. And we've got kind of a square guy going on here. I'm gonna rinse off my, my um, brush. And while this is still wet, I'm basically going to be adding his legs. So his legs come down here. And see how that color is washing right up into that one? So nice. I'm gonna add an arm here. Rinse off my brush. Maybe I'll go with a little bit more of this burnt orange. Add his arm and a hand. So he's walking, it's just basically a line, nothing crazy. He's got an arm over here. And then down here, I'm gonna add like a little, uh, sort of a, a bag or, or a sack or something that he's carrying. Just a suggestion. Okay, and then um, go ahead and grab a little bit of reflection here, coming down into the water. Again, don't get crazy. This is just, uh, gives us an idea of, of, of distance and what he's doing and what's going on, you don't have to get too detailed with this at all. And you notice that one leg is kind of shorter than the other. Oh, let me, I was gonna add a hat. A hat's always kind of fun. You don't have to though. Basically all a hat is is basically just kind of a line across the top. Correct that a little bit, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I did here. There's this little guy and you can see that you can't really tell the difference between his pants and his torso. All of this is just a wash that blends in. He's got some little object he's carrying. His hand is over here. Don't fiddle with this too much. Um, seriously, put it in there, let it go, dry it, and then you can make a couple of little small corrections. And I'll show you what those are in just a second. So go ahead and dry your paper. Okay, so I dried my paper. And, and now what you can do, if you want to, you can add just a little bit, if there's anything in there that feels like it's a little too faint, you can touch some color into it. Um, I'm gonna actually just give this a little bit more of a line here. And um, I don't know, it just felt like it was a little bit on the empty side. And so just a light line, and I'm coming across the top to, to, to give me a soft edge here. So I don't want it to all be the same. And, um, and I did come in and get this right under his um, leg, just a little darker. And gosh, I think I'm about done here. What do you think? I think we're done. Okay. So you can dry it one more time and then uh, we'll finish it up. All right. 
So I, I blow dried this completely, got it all nice and dry, and then um, went over with a Sharpie and um, did just a little bit of an outline in there. You can see that I left this area white down here. Um, it's kind of a fun little reflection. It lends some mystery to the whole thing and you don't want to like overdo it because I think the mystery is part of what makes this work. And so when I put these two paintings side by side of the ones that I did, you know, I kind of like this one over here better, the one on the left, because it is more mysterious. Um, the guy doesn't have quite so much contrast and then this guy here. And so I kind of like, I like how he comes and goes from the scene a little bit more, um, but they're both kind of cool. So have fun with this one, um, play with it. It is a little bit more difficult, I think, than uh, some of the other projects that I've done uh, because of this this part up here with the wash. It's tricky to get that in there. And then figures themselves are always a little bit tricky. Um, just try to remember to keep that head small. I, I, that's the biggest hurdle, it seems like. And try not to um, always go in and, and fix it and fiddle with it because, again, that's what um, gets rid of that mystery and that freshness that you see. So anyway, that's the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Facebook me, email me your results. And um, gosh, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day, please. Maybe get outside, have some fun. Um, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.